<laughs> I figured I'd start the vlog out some way different than, hey guys. Hey guys, how are you doing today? And this morning, Troy was stinking a little bit. So were you. And, you know, I had to give uh, oh, yeah. the baby a bath because the baby was running away. I wasn't stinking. If the baby was taking a bath and Troy was washing his hair and I'm making sure you get in his neck and stuff. And Troy goes, I know how to wash a baby. And I said, really? You don't even know how to wash yourself. When's the last time you took a shower? He's like, I was at... Uh, <laughs> I said, you might be a haunter if you don't remember the last time you took a shower in October. Now that she's airing my dirty laundry. Dirty for, for real. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, guys, there's been awesome stuff on Facebook happening. Jenny D said, uh, Hellmouth Haunted House, I'm taking the kids on Wednesday night. This is by far the best haunt, best price too, in Pierce County. Who wants to come along? That's awesome. And then somebody else said Lakewood's best kept secret, which we don't want it to be a secret, but you know, that's awesome too. So we're getting like positive reviews from the general public coming through. So that's awesome too. I'm just really excited. Today, Lori Lee, eh, 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 eh. baby, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Quit picking our noses. And, oh, wait, wait. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and he blinked when he did it, too. Corn maze. So we're going to get ready for that. But first, I got to go get some boxes so I can pack up some of the canned food donations. And you're going to feed the baby, so I want to go real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. We brought Lori Lee's car. Oh, I sure wish I would have brought the truck, the Bronco. Would have had fun in that stuff. So we're about ready to uh, go to the corn maze. This is Spooner Farm. I'm just hoping that it doesn't get too corny. It's the baby! We're walking in the middle of the road. We're doing what I was complaining about people doing when, when we first pulled up. It's a baby? Yes. It's a baby. It's a very large steel sharp thing right here. Well, don't walk into that steel sharp thing right there. It's a farm, Pa. It it's is a farm. farm. There's some big old pumpkins. Look at those big old pumpkins. Mayonnaise and some honey mustard. I'm thinking of a big roasting pan and Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving dinner. Ooh, yummy. I will name you dinner. <laughs> Hi, dinner. Look at the piggies. Oink, oink, Bacon. oink. Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> That's breakfast. We've, we've got dinner over there, we've got lunch over there, and this is breakfast. That is a huge spider. There's several huge spiders here, along with a lot of freaking pumpkins. That is so cool. Do you guys see this? Do you see this? He's like, okay, there's a camera. I'm posing. There it is. El Corno, El Mezo. I wonder if the corn maze is going to be uh, amazing. Uh, I got tons of them, guys. This is the start of the maze. Whoa, guys. This is kind of cool. This is giving me ideas. It looks, uh, Lori Lee said, and I think I agree, it looks like great stuff and um, chicken wire. That's all this is, really. <laughs> the eyes have it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I've got a million of them. Hey, look, I'm following behind you. I'm stalking you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know where we're going, Daddy? Yep. We're going right here. Now we go this way. And now we're going this way. <laughs> Phoenix is like, where are we, Daddy? Then this way here. It's, it's, it's like GPS, like, shh, see how I did that? <laughs> yeah. There's a door. It looks like one of those doors from Monsters, Inc. <laughs> yeah, so Lori Lee has taken over. I failed. You failed. The map's not right. The map is, is it's, it's weird. That, that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. it hey, wait, is that a corny excuse? Ha 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 Lori Lee found it. We just followed the noise. She followed the noise and the noise let us out. <sighs> Exit. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I want to show you guys something really, really scary. It's a giant freaking scarecrow! Ah! Aw, mini pumpkins. Peewee pumpkins. Look at a pumpkin for Phoenix. For you? Look, it's a pumpkin for Phoenix. Wasn't it? 
What is it? What is that? I think these pumpkins need to go to the pumpkin health clinic. Yeah, they got some kind of mutation. They've got scabies. They got, they got warts or something. Yeah, warts. Ooh, they've got a gift shop. They've got a gift shop. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised his hands aren't out flailing all over. Oh look, tombstone salt and pepper shakers. Where is it? Doesn't smell bad. What does witch's brew smell like? I don't know. It smells kind of like a pumpkin spice, I think. Take a look at these old buildings, guys. These are the ones just before we go to the corn maze. And we're gonna drive by it really quickly. I might have to like shoot just a, uh, a quick uh, photo out of the video that I get. But there's a house up here that is like totally decked out for Halloween. It looks really, really cool. Here it is, guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It must have spent a lot of money at Spirit. There's another cool old house that if it wasn't ready to be torn down would be an excellent haunt. We're no longer at the farm. Um, we're here at, may I help you? Burlington Coat Factory. Tell me, doesn't that coat hanger, that coat rack look like it's got fake blood on it? Hmm. She's looking for jackets. I'm thinking of like I got a, jacket a new room in the haunt. It's extremely claustrophobic in here. The coat room. <laughs> I'm getting this one. Where's all my what? I'm gonna get this one. Which is practice safe hex. Uh huh. Wow. Ghoul's gone wild. Irresistibly witchy. Candy corn. Oh, they got witch's brew here too. Candy corn. Look, candy corn. Candy corn. If we were able to have candles in the haunt, then this would definitely be one that I'd want in the haunt, but we can't have open flame. Yeah, I like the smell. So are you guys ready? It's been almost a week. The Walking Dead's on. We're gonna sit and watch it because that's what we're doing today. And um, we'll have it at the end of the vlog so that we don't ruin it for anybody else. So here you go. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I got Story Sync all set up on the laptop. Ooh, fancy. Mm hmm Oh, shoot, shh, it's on. Cock, quickly. Adam Owens, on the first night of the live feed, what was the squeak? The Hellmouth squeak we returned? Uh, no, Lisa A got it right. Uh, the squeak was the dresser. At least I think that was what that noise was. Because the dresser, we were having problems with the motion sensor. It just yeah, keeps going off. It, it kept going off by itself, so it, it kept going. You didn't loop it up uh, enough. Oh, believe me. Keith lubed it up uber enough. It's bleeding. Well, Keith lubed up your uh, joints? <laughs> Keith lubed up the wood on the dresser. I bet it lubed up your wood. Oh, whatever. Everybody wants to see your pretty face. No, I'm serious. It, put it down in the comments right there. Ooh, what? What? I'm calling you out. Everybody wants to see her pretty face. Alfredo Rolden. Hello. <laughs> My hair's a mess. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Troy, please, you have to edit all the videos so we can see each other. Um, I, I am going to edit up all the scary videos just like I always do because I think they're really fun. Muxlonibus Crypt. Looking forward to see what numbers you pull in on Halloween. Halloween is our busiest day, and just the Facebook buzz of the people around here that are commenting and whatever and asking their friends and their friends, I think our, our next and last two open days, Wednesday and Thursday, I think they're going to be barn burners. Hopefully not literally. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so everybody better show up. If you're one of our actors and you're watching this, show up. Yes. <laughs> Please. Because me and Troy can't run, you know, he can't watch the front while I run from room to room and scare everybody. Yeah, that would be, oh my gosh. With the baby. Can, can you imagine? I usually don't read stories. This one is funny, however. Willie B. Marlin. Awesome story from last night at the haunt I work at. I was running a chainsaw on the scene I was in, and the chainsaw was being a pain in the butt. It wasn't starting. A group of girls came through, and it didn't start, so I decided to make the chainsaw noise myself, extremely loud. I figured they would just laugh, but one of them peed. I sought them after we closed, and she wasn't lying. The front of her pants were soaked. Good job, my friend. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Jesus Alvarez, do you think the live feed would work good by Halloween? Yes. I have fixed it as long. And he was the tutorial, so now he knows what to do. Yes, and you guys watched me watch the tutorial. She filmed it last night. She watched. She filmed me watching the tutorial that someone else filmed, so that people could watch it to learn how to do what I ended up doing because I learned how to do it. 
if you follow that, post that down in the comments too. <laughs> Cap is on too. There you go. Go for it, too baby. Too bad on audio feed, but the show went on rather well, I thought. Yeah, I, I had to make the determination. It was either video or audio, and then I brought the computer down one time to try and redo everything, and then I lost video also. That's why it took me so long to get it Yeah, we're well, sorry about that. We're going to probably do the kids' room again, you know, just to give them a chance because you didn't, you didn't get to hear them. I mean, they were just genius. And it'll be better, too, because the next two days will be busier, too. So it should be it should be popping, and I, I want to get a good video of the girls because they are funny and they are awesome. Left Tyla, how much is a mission to the house? I want to go. Then come. We won't charge you anything. We ask for a donation, you know, bring some canned food because we're trying to break a record for Northwest Harvest. Bring a donation for the haunt because, you know, obviously this isn't, you know, cheap this, to do. Yeah, it's not free. You know, we, we, we ask for a donation just to help offset our costs. It, it, it's a suggested donation, but it is free. If you want to walk up and come through, then come through. But, you know, if you have a couple bucks, we'd appreciate it. So, with that said, um, we're going to say happy haunting. Happy haunting. Thank you. And now we're going to turn this into the vlogging dead. All right. It is the vlogging dead. I wanted to touch on something really quick that the talking dead touched on. What do you think about the rats? Is that still relevant right now? Or are we trying to... Is is that something that we are just supposed to figure out? That's one of the figure things that's out. attracting the zombies that are keeping them there. You know, um, but honestly, between my thoughts is between um, the radio transmission in the car. Yes, that's important. And the herd, mm -hmm. I think that it is the governor behind it. You know, um, leading them that herd of seventy five hundred toward the prison. And that was a very excellent point that Marilyn Manson made, although. Honestly, don't go with the no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, don't I just, insult him, please. I'm not insulting him, it was just extremely, he was extremely, just, slow. Blah, 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 just go. Okay, so anyway, he made an excellent point that the governor could be behind, could be behind the, the herd. I called it last week, I just I knew it was Carol that took those two out and and the two sick people out because hey, you know, she she already lost her own flesh and blood daughter, she was just given two daughters by that guy who died. And she wasn't going to let anything hurt them or anybody else. So ah. these people got sick, boom, out the door. And she heard Karen get sick, and she said, go get David, you know. Okay, so two things. Number one, do you think that she's getting too much power because she was sitting there teaching the children about knives and doing it without asking anybody, number one. Number two, what was her motivation for killing the two people and bringing them out? Was it to hold you. hold on? Was it to protect her her new daughter, or is it to protect everybody? Because if you think about it, what is she going to do now? Her new daughter is now quarantined. So is only she, one of them. Yes. So There's two. So is she going to protect them and kill everybody, or is she just going to let it be now? She was trying to do the best she could. That's why she took the fit outside and kicked over the water can and everything because she's pissed off that what she did didn't work. Hmm. And so she's probably feeling pissed off about it, and she's probably feeling a lot of regret, too. And she'll be feeling more regret if some of the people survive this little break, which I hope Glenn does, because we didn't talk about Glenn being in there. Well, I'm just um, worried, worried for Carol's safety once Tyrese finds out when he gets back. Yeah, and Herschel now getting blood splattered all over him by the dude that was sick, so if he's going to get it, he's going to get it. But I think that I heard him say that if he was going to get it, he would have gotten it by now. Which is funny because in another frame, he also said that everybody is on their own timeline. So it kind of, he kind of contradicted himself. I, I thought it was funny on Talking Dead, uh, Marilyn's prediction, he thought that Michonne and Daryl were going to hook up. Yeah, I, I said that tonight. I think I was like, let's get it out. I know. No, <laughs> I, think, I think Michonne and, and Rick should hook up. I'm sorry, that's still my favorite couple. <laughs> I want Michonne and Rick to hook up. I want Daryl and um, Carol to hook up. All right, so final thoughts? I'm worried about that damn herd, and I'm worried about... I think... I, I was thinking two out of the four of them weren't making it from that car back to the prison. Because now they have to find another car, they have to get the friggin' medicine, get back to the prison before everybody dies. Yeah. What the hell are they going to do? Um, They're going to come back, and it's going to be a ghost town. So, I'll, I'll tell you guys what, if you want to comment in the comments down below, we'll do one update tomorrow. So, after we do this, we'll do one more update to kind of continue this conversation and ask, answer your questions. 
But and then after that, we'll let the other five days out of the week go. So we'll do this twice. So tonight and then comment on it and then tomorrow. And then we'll be done for the rest of the week until next Sunday. Later. It's a shame about Gwen. We have zombies of our own. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Lou Temple. You know me as Axel from The Walking Dead. And I say to you, happy haunting. You follow me?